Gadget Girl here on day 110, starting out at Whiskey Spring Road, heading north. Right now I'm in a wooded area with lots of rocks still, kind of a continuation from yesterday. Um, today's scenery should change drastically though, as towards the end, I should be going through farm land and residential areas. So it should be an interesting day full of different things. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm sure it's going to be another hot one. It's been really hot. We're starting really early today. I'm trying to beat that heat a little bit. It's uh, a little after 7 which is unusual to get started this early, but feels good. Nice campsite here, two miles into today's hike. Um, kind of a double campsite, plenty of space. Stream nearby. Just ran into a ridge runner who told me uh, the water here was good. Here's the stream, um, even as dry as it's been, we haven't had rain for quite a few days now. Um, there's still water here, so it's a good source. I'm passing the area of the Alec Kennedy shelter and heading north. It's another nice campsite here, almost three miles into today's hike. Um, you would need to bring water though. And there's another trail that goes off through there called White Rocks Trail. This is the center point knob. Um, I'm not sure what the significance of the monument is. There's no information that I see about it on far out or here on the monument itself just says center point knob all right from further reading comments and far out i did find out that apparently this was originally the center point of the trail of course it is no longer um a little box here Oh, shelter log in here. Whoever built and maintains this trail did a good job. Every so often there'll be one of these water breaks across it and the rest of the trail is elevated. So the water runs right off, very clever. And much appreciated. The kind of interesting bowl shaped depression here Makes me wonder what was originally here. Or how it formed. Really interesting. Apparently at times it does fill with water and then run on downstream, but it's dry now. All right, it's pretty much the end of the woods walk for today. Out into the fields walking. Some pretty nice looking corn over here. Uh, something else over there. I don't know if that's soybeans or what it is. Can't tell. Maybe soybeans. It's hot. So an umbrella is not only good for rain protection, it is excellent for sun protection. And that's what I'm using mine for today. All right, I just came out of the path by that cornfield, turned up here, and the trail's gonna turn again right up here. Um, it looks like we're gonna be some doing some walking on the shoulder of the road for a while. And we'll see how it goes. The umbrella is a great help for shade. It definitely feels cooler. So I'm gonna keep that up. Keep on walking. 
All right, at that turn, we did leave the road. Um, we're walking by this wheat field, and I see there's another turn right down here. We're gonna go right along the edge of the wheat that's ready to harvest, looks like, and turn and walk along it. All right, there's a sign here welcoming us to the Appalachian Trail lands. It says, these lands are being farmed to maintain the historic pastoral setting along the trail. Active insect and weed management is utilized on agricultural fields along the Appalachian Trail to ensure farmers crop harvest. This includes periodic use of pesticides consistent with conventional agricultural practices. It says, stay on the trail during the growing season. We're taking another turn here in the fields. Now we're gonna be walking along the cornfields. Looks like maybe there's some more wheat or something up there. Nice looking corn. All right, we came into a little shaded area for just a moment. Over that way somewhere, but it's back out in the fields is the Appalachian Trail campground for this area. Um, you aren't allowed to just camp anywhere along the trail here like you can in most areas uh, because it's a populated area and a farmed area. So you can only camp in designated areas. I think there's maybe at least a 14 mile stretch with no camping. All right, looks like I'm ready to start some road walking into the town of Boiling Springs here. Just cross this narrow one lane bridge and the trail does turn down into the woods here for a little ways at least. So that's better than road walking. We'll see how far. All right, less than a tenth of a mile, and we are leaving the woods again. We just are crossing the same little stream, I guess, on a footbridge. Or maybe it's a different stream, I think, that comes into the other stream. Um, there is an old iron furnace over there. Coming out into a parking lot, there's a nice little picnic table there that's shaded and a bench if you needed a place to rest for a few minutes. That would be it. I guess we're going into town. From the parking lot, the trail goes straight across. It's kind of interesting. There's a little bridge over a pond here that uh, says do not enter, it's one way. But the road has a center line painted. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Maybe it's only one way past the parking lot. Guess what I called a pond is actually a lake maybe. Um, it's really pretty and clear. So far, Boiling Springs is a pretty little town. Pretty houses over there. Nice walkway, benches, lake, very picturesque. Got a flock of Canada geese here. And maybe one duck in the mix. Yep. It's a little duck right there. It's like a mallard, maybe. I can't tell for sure. They're very happy today. They're in the cool water. Everybody else is out in the heat. There's an Outfitters right here beside the Appalachian Trail. You can stop in there for just a moment. I've lost a carbide tip off of my trekking poles, so I'm going to see if they can help me out with that.
All right, I love this sign. It says, this park was established as a place for our veterans to relax and share the beauty of a picturesque village. When we are away from home, we often dream of such places and we are fortunate to live in one. Freedom is not free. It always comes with a cost. Understanding that, we as veterans living in this community want to thank the many young men and women serving around the world, defending our great nation and protecting our freedoms. We salute you. I love it. I'm here at Cafe 101 having lunch. They have a lovely salad. This is the fruit and nut salad. Looks delicious and I'm ready to dive in. After lunch at Cafe 101, it's a little bit of a road walk. Then we're going to cross the road here. It looks like go into the woods. So that'll be welcome. It is still hot today, but I feel much refreshed after that salad and a couple of refills of Diet Pepsi. Or Diet Coke, I think it was actually, but it's all good. I've been hiking through the woods for a while, come to a stile, uh, got a field to cross, but then it looks like it goes back into the woods. So hopefully today won't be quite as hot as I thought it would be. I'm really happy this afternoon that although there are farms and farm fields nearby, the trail itself is still wooded and it's shady. So that's a big help as hot as it is today. There is a heat advisory in place for this county. So I'm glad I got an early start and hopefully won't suffer too much from the heat today. Really lovely right here. Fields on one side, nice shady trees overhead and on the other side. See some sunshine up ahead though. I might have to walk in it for a while, but this is much lovelier walking than I had expected. Crossing Lisburn Road here. I've come to Bullier Road and I'm crossing it right back into the woods. Crossing Lisburn Road here. We are 9.9 miles into today's hike. I am coming out into another field to walk through. So I've got my umbrella back out. It may head back over into the woods shortly, but it is very sunny and hot. So just keep the sun off as much as possible. Gonna cross West Trendu Road here in just a second. There is a parking area to the left of the trail here, just off Trendu Road, if you're doing a section hike or need a place to park. And the trail goes straight through the fields here. It's like it eventually may wind up in the woods over there. I'm crossing Ridge Drive here. Still hot. Trail is still good though. I have come across a couple of trail angels here cleaning up from the trash that hikers have left from Trail Magic. Um, I'm assuming you're also leaving some Trail Magic, cold water oh, and what? ice. Apples. Lemonade. Wonderful. Tell us who you are. Uh, we're the Rose Sisters. The Rose Sisters. Well, thank you so much. This means so much to all the hikers. All right. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. Happy hiking. Thank you. Crossing a little wooden bridge here and getting ready to cross Old Stone House Road. Um, the streams here, they say not to use because of farm runoff. 
Um, so this is a section where you do need to carry a good bit of water, but you can get water in the town of Boiling Spring, so it doesn't have to be a huge amount. All right, I'm crossing Old Stone House Road now. Um, there is a style here. Well, step style, style, but the trail is open beside of it, so you no longer have to use it. Back into walking through fields again. This one's just grass. I assume they'll cut it for hay. The little summer flowers are coming out. Some little pretty yellow flowers. Clover's out. A few other ones are out. I noticed some thistle earlier. But the spring flowers, of course, are more showy. And they're pretty much done. Walking past a small cemetery here. Looks like an older one. Um, that grave, the fellow was born in 1839 and died in 1883. Uh, that's a pretty modern headstone, so I'd say that's been replaced. But there are a number of really old headstones here. I can't really read them because of the fence, but pretty cool. Another road crossing here. This one is Appalachian Drive. also known as the Pennsylvania Turnpike on Appalachian Drive here which has a pretty narrow bridge with no pedestrian walkway so you're just actually walking in the road pretty much over the interstate It's a road walk for quite a distance after you cross the bridge there and there's no real trailway um, house here it seems a little unfriendly it has several signs posted about thinking about breaking into my house uh, all you'll be taking is my bullet and a few other things like that uh, but once you get past that then the trail goes into the woods. Mile 13.2 today and I am crossing railroad tracks. And we're gonna walk in a shaded area next to some fields. Right, there's a bunny. Hi, bunny. The bunny has apparently decided he would rather hop along in front of me than in the woods. Oh, there, maybe he was going in. Yep, there he goes. And up here we have a deer. Clearly, I had just shut off the camera and hadn't even put it down yet. Ah, a little buck. And now I am crossing U.S. Route 11, also known as Harrisburg Pike. Um, I believe this is at the town of Carlisle. Yeah, it's a nice thing. They have a pedestrian bridge here. 
because it is very busy. Into kind of a more industrial area here. There's a bunch of power lines and there's a bunch of uh, trailers, like tractor trailers. Um, anyway, it's a little bit different. I am here with Trail Angel Sully, who is giving out water today and fruit snacks and offering free rides too. Um, thank you so much. Anytime. Happy to help. And uh, enjoy your upcoming section hike this fall. Thank you. You're welcome. I am here at the Trailview Market. Little store here. Oh, very cool. Lots of veggies. Oh, cucumbers look lovely. Apricots, raspberries, ooh, cherries, blueberries. Very nice. It's like some uh, snack items. Local honey. Fresh eggs, Gatorade, and uh, looks like sometimes they have milk, but there's none in the cooler. I am walking along Bernheisel Bridge Road, getting ready to cross, I think it's I-81, and enjoying some cakesters from the stand there. The trail goes off the road ever so slightly here. And then I think it goes back up on the road, maybe. We'll see ahead. We crossed the road, but we are still walking through fields. Looks like we got a style to go through up here coming up. Right there. I'm really glad I was walking in shade much of this afternoon because walking in these fields is hot. Um, I do have my umbrella up for shade, but you can actually feel the heat radiating up off of the earth where the sun's baked it all day. So it's a lot hotter than it was in the shaded woodsy areas. Some ripe black raspberries here. Gonna have a few. Last little bit of today's hikes, actually hiking along a pretty good sized creek here. Another treat for today, some lovely day lilies. Up next, a boardwalk. It's certainly been a varied day. Back out along the highway. This time, at least with a pedestrian area that's uh, blocked off by guardrails and fencing and going across this bridge here. And I have made it to the Scott Farm, um, which is today's pickup point. It says it's managed by the ATC, the farmhouse is. Doesn't say much about the barn, doesn't look like much management's going on on it. Um, it's a big parking area here and I'm just gonna wait patiently and Bunny will be here soon.